good morning everyone so it's um it's time to seven i've been up since about 6 30 had my breakfast um now i'm gonna get the kids ready actually i'm gonna wash my hair first because it's about time i wash my hair and uh, then i'll get the kids ready and we're going off to Meliha very early today um, to enjoy the day. Today is St. Joseph. Um, uh, it's a public holiday. So, and um, I'm going to treat it as a public holiday. And I'm going to spend the day outside in Meliha with the kids. And uh, I want to try and keep like weekends and public holidays a bit different to the normal routine. Um, at this time, we all need to have a mindset, try to keep, you know, a timetable, kind of. We stick to a timetable, especially for the kids, you know, because if they do what they want all the time, it's not going to help in the future. When they come to structure, it's going to get out of hand. Last night the kids slept quite late, so I think I'm gonna have to dress them up in bed. Uh, they were watching a movie. They were in the same bed, cuddled up. It, they're getting closer to each other, I find. So, whereas they usually fight all the time. Like Jenna's too proud to to play with Kate, you know, because she's older and she always wants to be with her friends and not her sister. Now they just have each other, so I told them, I sat them down, I told them, listen, we're going to be together for at least another month before you go back to school. I said, so, I'm not going to meet anyone else, you can't meet any other children, so make the most of it, you know, don't fight, just enjoy each other's company, if you're doing something, try and improve each other. So, I think they, they listened to me, you know, they actually did it, they fought a bit. <laughs> But, um, but on the whole, I can't complain. Um, uh, so I'm gonna go get my hair washed and I'll see you guys later. Oh, and by the way, it's um, my parents' anniversary today. Um, uh, I think about 45 years of marriage. I don't know how we did that. It's amazing. Well done, guys. So proud of you. Hi again. So basically, I had to choose what I'm going to use for my hair today. I'm going to use, I have to use um, a keratin shampoo um, because it has no sulfates basically. And as I have the keratin in my hair, if I use a normal shampoo with sulfates, the cuticle will open and let all the all the keratin out so this will retain my keratin um, this is a silver conditioner which I like to mix to my mask this is an intensive uh, seri expert nutrifier mask it's really nice and thick so uh, I'm gonna go through the routine with you the important thing is when you when you're washing your hair, you wet it thoroughly first, apply as much as needed, maybe like the size of a one euro coin. Emulsify in your hands. You're gonna be using your fingertips, okay? Not the whole palm of your hand. And focusing mainly on cleansing inside the scalp, not the, the actual hair. Because what happens is, your ends tend to go dry you don't need to over cleanse your hair so you, you need to cleanse the scalp more than anything um, uh, then you rinse and give another wash with the same technique always in circular motions okay to get the blood flowing and to also cleanse okay using the tips of your finger not the whole palm like that you get more, it's even more relaxing, you know, than just rubbing. It's nice to give that intense rub. Then we'll take about a 
I'm going to just not transition it. Actually, this is a mask. I don't think it's a mask. This is an old packing because I've had this for quite a long time. It lasts forever. That much. For blondes, okay, like me. Basically, my hair looks a bit orangey, grassy. This will help it look more ashy. And then you close that. And mix it in the of your hand, like so. Sata brushes which I find fantastic and uh, leave it in for not more than five minutes I stress not more than five you leave it more than five you'll get this like lilac-y bluish color you know, on your hair and rinse it really 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 well like a good five minute rinse to make sure you get it out of your hair I'm gonna put this before I go into the shower and I'll see you guys when my hair is dry. Okay, so I just washed my hair. It's very important not to not to rub. It's very important to be careful how to towel dry your hair. You do not go like this. Okay, because that's when you destroy the cuticle of your hair. Just very, very lightly, just tap it lightly, okay? Very lightly. This is uh, Aura Botanica. It's uh, soy, soy uh, milk, which is organic and it protects the hair, hydrates, and uh, smells amazing. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this in before I brush it. And always try to smooth it. Starting at the end, you can use on wet. I like to use the, the Sata brush. Your cuticle layers are growing downwards towards the ends of your hair, so never point the hair dryer upwards. Always towards the end and don't put it too close to your cuticle, okay? Just keep it at a distance and always in this motion. Help it smoothen the cuticle. I like to imagine the cuticle as um, fish scales, you know? When you have a fish and you have the scales, when you push them up, it feels rough. When you push them down, it feels like really, really smooth. So treat it the same way, okay? So, my hair is ready. It's not so brassy anymore. It's more like an ashy beige. I don't like it very ashy. I like it like a sandy beige color. I'm um, uh, putting some also dripping serum, just a drop, just to seal the cuticle. I don't like to blow dry my hair with a lot of, um, with a brush preferably because my hair is very fragile, like very, very, very fine. Um, so the less the better with my hair. Prefer just rough drying it. Can you see the shine? Mm -hmm. 
we gonna make up those monkeys? We'll have to get the monkey really quick. Because I promise everyone will be there at the last time. We need to take the, the money, the... We need to take the food, we need to take some art supplies for the food. daddy spend the day outside hope it doesn't rain so we'll have to come back home. Uh, and it's like eight in the morning but... i like this song There's a plane in the air. I wonder why they're still flying. <laughs> uh, we did a workout. I did a, I, I did two workouts. I did one with Kate, and I did one which is a killer. It's really, really good. It's a bit of cardio, a bit of Pilates, and a bit of stretching. It's really, really cool. I'll put the link down below. Um, yours was a killer for Daddy, but not for me. <laughs> um, then we had lunch. Now I'm chilling, and at one o'clock we're gonna do some more homework. Because believe it or not, Kate gets so much more homework than Jenna does. It's unbelievable. But uh, she's very good. She does it, no problem. What did you write? Happy, love, love, sad. Love. Happy, sad, love. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Yes, super cool. No, I love the dolphins. Sh- How did you make them? They're perfect. It's secret, okay? Won't tell anyone, okay? It's it. You get it, Daddy. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> Feels really good in here. <laughs> oh. Jen, so tell me, what are you scared of? If, if one of us get... gets the coronavirus, then I'm scared and no one will look after us because daddy will be in, be in quarantine. Better we all go together. If mommy gets it, you get it, and your sister too. And your little duck tail. No, the dogs don't get it. Oh, yeah. I don't want to get it. 
Yeah, you don't eat this, Leo. I imagine Mo and Sergi. Leo. You don't eat Sergi, honey. No, I imagine Mo. See, if anything, we'll try to come earlier again. Tomorrow is a weekday. Then Saturday. Yes. Today we're not going to get home because it's our holiday. Tomorrow, yes. Bye. 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 had a mindset that uh, I want to be strong, healthy and happy and loved so that's what I stuck to and I really believe in that once you have that mindset poof, nothing is gonna stop me <laughs> I'm quite like that so um, basically I had, I had a good breakfast a nice smoothie and some fruit and uh, I washed my hair, and when I wash my hair, I feel much better. Um, I went up to Meliha very early, so my my day started quite early, which was good. Spent a lot of time in the sun, did some exercise. Actually, I did two workouts <laughs> in my jeans because I wasn't wearing um, gym wear. I don't have much gym wear. I have a lot of work clothes and evening clothes and leisure wear. Not much. Um, uh, anyway, so that was basically it. And I kept myself mo motivated. I didn't read anything about the virus. I don't want to hear anything. I just read some stuff related to business, business related. Um, uh, because obviously I have to be responsible with that. Uh, came back home, cooked a lovely meal. Uh, very simple, just some basil, uh, garlic and olive oil. Good olive oil and some salt. Gluten-free pasta and it was ace. Kids devoured it. So uh, anyway, now I'm going to have a bath and fall asleep. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow.